Hi and welcome to this video which will show you how to download SPSS 21 for Windows. For this demonstration we're using Windows 7 but Windows Vista and even Windows XP should be similar. You must make sure that your computer is connected to the internet for this entire process. Let's start by opening Firefox and going to onthehub.com. Once you're at the website Scroll down until you see IBM SPSS in the left hand column. Click once on the link and then scroll up the screen. As you move your mouse over the image it will change. Now click on the Save on SPSS button. You will now see the SPSS software screen. Click once on the IBM SPSS Statistics 21 icon. Scroll down until you see the IBM SPSS Statistics Base Grad Pack 21 for Windows with a 6 month rental as this is the software you'll need for STA 102. Now click the Add to Cart button to add the software for purchasing. You will now see the login or registration screen. Seeing this is our first time to the site, we will register for our own login. On this screen, select the first option as we will be using our Swinburne student email address to register. Now click Continue. On the next screen, you must enter your Swinburne student email address. Please do not use any other email address. Now click the Continue button. The next screen asks for more details. Enter your last name here. Enter your first name here. You will see that your Swinburne student email address is used for your username and that it's already populated on the screen. Create a password which has a minimum of six characters. For security reasons, this should be something easy for you to remember but hard for others to guess. Type the password again for confirmation. Scroll down and you'll see that your institution and email details have again been pre-populated on screen. For your group details, select Students from the drop-down menu. Now press the Register button. You should see on the next screen a message stating that you've registered and that a verification email has been sent to your student account. Further profile information is required on this page. Please select all the relevant information from the drop down boxes. When you've finished, click the Save button to continue. This screen shows that you've completed your registration and profile information, but your account verification is not yet complete. It's now time to check your Swinburne student email to complete the verification process. Please note that the verification email may take up to an hour or possibly longer to be delivered. In a new browser window, go to Outlook.com. and sign in using your Swinburne student email address and password. You should see an email similar to the one on screen. Click the link 
indicated on screen to verify your account. Enter the password you created again to verify your account. If all goes well, you should be taken to the Data Analysis Software page. From here, click on the IBM SPSS link on the left. Once again, click the IBM SPSS Statistics 21 icon and on the next page, make sure that the Windows tab is selected. Now scroll down to the IBM SPSS Statistics Base Grad Pack 21 for Windows with a 6 month rental, then click the Add to Cart button. On this screen you will see that the software has been added to your cart. Scroll down and click on the Checkout button. You will now go through a series of screens. The first is the Messages screen. Scroll down and click on the I Accept button. The next screen is the End User License Agreement screen. Again, scroll to the bottom and click the I Accept button. This screen details the terms and conditions regarding the software download. Again, scroll to the bottom and click the I Accept button. This screen is a short survey asking how you found out about the On The Hub website. Select the appropriate responses from the drop down menus. When you're ready, click the Next button. The next screen deals with billing. It's very important that you fill these details in correctly. In this demonstration, we've sped up the process. When you're finished, click the Bill to this address button. The next step is to select the method of payment you will be using. Click the appropriate radio button and the screen will expand to display more fields. Fill in all the appropriate fields ensuring that you fill in the fields marked with a red asterisk as they are mandatory. For this demonstration, we will blank out the fields as we fill them in. When you're ready, click the Next button. This screen repeats your profile information which should already be pre-populated. Check that all the fields are correct and change any as required. When you're ready, click Next. This screen shows a summary of your transaction details along with the confirmation of payment. Scroll through the page to ensure all the details are correct, then click the Proceed with Order button. Finally, you will see a receipt screen which details your purchase. Now that your purchase is complete, it's time to download the SPSS software. Click the Start Download button on the screen to start the process.
There are four steps involved in downloading the software. The first step is to download and install the Secure Download Manager program, also known as the SDM. Click the Download SDM button. You will be prompted to save the file to your computer. Click the Save File button to continue and the software will be saved on your computer. From the Downloads window, double-click the SDM underscore EN dot MSI icon, click Run to start. Click the Next button to move to the next screen. Click the I Agree radio button, then Next to continue. Leave the installation folder screen as default, then click Next. The SDM will now install on your computer. Once you've been notified that your installation was successful, click the Close button to complete the process. Our next step is to download the SDX file which will start downloading our purchased software. Click on the download.sdx button. You will then be prompted to open the file using the secure download manager that we've just installed. Ensure that this button is checked then click OK. The secure download manager will start. You will see that your software will be downloaded and saved in this area which is your downloads folder by default. If you wish to change this, click the change location link to choose another area to save your file. We recommend leaving it at the default location. Finally, click the start download button. Choose either 32 or 64 bit software based on the version of Windows installed on your computer. If you are unsure, choose the 32 bit package. Depending on your internet connection, this may take quite some time as it is a large file. We've sped the process up for this demonstration. You will see that the Start Download button has changed to Launch. Click this button to start the SPSS software installation program. Click Yes to continue and the installer will start. On the license page, click Next to continue. On this screen, ensure that the Single User License button is selected, then click Next. At the Software Licensing screen, Click the I Accept radio button, then click Next to continue. On this screen, you can enter your name if you wish, then click Next. English language support is installed by default. If you wish to install more languages, please do so here. Click Next to continue. If you have a vision impairment, you may want to install the JAWS screen reader. For this demonstration, we'll leave this set to No, then click Continue. Here you can change the installation folder. We recommend leaving it at the default setting, then click Next. Click the Install button to start the installation. This process will take some time as it is a big installation and we've sped up the process for this demonstration. SPSS is now installed on your computer. Click the OK button to start the licensing wizard. Make sure that the License My Product Now radio button is selected, then click Next to continue. You're now prompted to enter the license code you will have received as part of your software purchase. Switch back to your student email account and you should see an order receipt email similar to the one on screen. Open the message and you will see a link to your account.
click the link to take you to your order details page. Scroll down the page to reveal your activation code. We've blurred the code for security reasons. Highlight the code, then copy it to the clipboard by pressing the CTRL plus C key. Switch back to the SPSS licensing wizard, then click inside the Enter Code box. Now use the CTRL plus V key, then click Next. If all goes well, you should see the message stating that all the codes were successfully processed. Click Next to continue. This screen details how long SPSS is licensed for. When you're ready, click Finish to complete the licensing wizard. We can now sign out of the On The Hub eStore. We can also sign out of our student email. Close Firefox as it is no longer needed for this demonstration. Finally, close the Secure Download Manager window. Let's now start SPSS to make sure the installation was completed successfully. If you see this security alert, click Allow Access. On this screen, click Use Unicode Encoding. Now you're prompted to create or open a file. Please remember that SPSS does not come with any data files for STA-102. You must download these from the STA-102 Blackboard Unit website. Now that we're satisfied that SPSS is working, we can close the program. Thanks for watching this video and all the best of luck.